Hey y'all, Lady Jarhead again. I'm going to quickly show the pieces that I made last night when I got bored. And my husband's working nights and shift, so I stayed up so I could sleep with him when he got home. And um, so I'm going to go to bed now, though I'm tired tonight. So I made a couple of those knotty pieces. And then I domed them and then I sprinkled. I glittered them inside and then I also sprinkled, when I domed them, I also sprinkled some tinsel on top in the corresponding colors. And that one I did like a rainbow. And that one I did blue and pink. This one I did blue, pink, and green. Blue, purple, pink, and then green. And anyway, then I did some cool ones there that um, once they set up and cure all the way, I'm gonna um, flip them over and do something else with them before they're done. These aren't done yet either. These have been domed on the back. So I did a little Alice in Wonderland piece there. That's going to be a coaster. And then um, that is a, oh, I'm getting resin on my fingers. You don't know how many times I've washed my hands alone today. That one's a, um, Twin star piece. Yes, resin on my fingertips again. That one's a Hello Kitty piece. These will probably be keychains or magnets because they're kind of big. And then um, another um, twin star piece. Little twin stars. Okay, now I got my fingertips nice and sticky again. This one is a, um, it's a Hello Kitty. The light is like reflecting right off of it. But you can see, and then there's a Tuxedo Sam. Those have been domed. And then there's a couple little Hello Kitty button ones, and then some more dirty ones there that have to be popped out later. And then, there's a kitty, Loki, that's a baby, what you doing, you ready to, you're ready for bed, what, what'd you say, you heard him, he groans at me, what you said, you heard him, <laughs> well you gotta move so I can show people's the, You ready for bed? You ready for night nights, huh? You ready for night nights? Huh? I can't hear you. You ready? Ouch, those claws hurt, Loki. They hurt. Yes, I've told you that a million times. But you're still scratching me up. He just uses my legs to climb and I've got scratches. I mean look at look at that hand. I mean, everywhere, all over, blood drawn everywhere, all the way up my arm. Look at this hand. Look. All the way up my arm. Just, he tore me up from one end to the other, just. See? My those are really deep, too. They hurt. My hands hurt. I just touch water to them, they hurt. And then I've had to wash my hands like 15 billion times since I started messing with the resin this morning, so that hasn't helped. So, and then there's this little piece, which I popped it out, but the bottom layer was still tacky. The back layer's cured because I put that fast curing on the back, but I noticed that the other layer right here is still a little tacky, so that's why I didn't pop the other ones out. So hopefully I didn't screw them up by popping things out of that mold. So, and then I did these pieces. So bats maru. Like I said, I'm limited on the supplies I brought here. I have that little cabinet full of glitters and stuff, but I don't have a whole lot of other little knickknacks that I put in my pieces. So there's not going to be a lot of layers in these because I didn't have a lot. So just kind of minimum decorating in the background. That one I really like. They turned out nice. Um, I have to sand these, of course. I haven't domed any of these on the back and I'm not going to unless I put bells on them and I don't have any of that here with me either so 
this is as far as it goes as far as Texas. I'll have to bring these pieces back with me and finish them in Louisiana where I have my craft room and everything. So um, I do have quite a bit of stuff here, but it's molds and glitter and stickers pretty much basically. I got a couple little bags of sprinkles, but they're running low too. So I got this with the witch and then skull up there and I'm gonna do some green marker on here and make it look like, you know, a smoke cloud or something coming up there. Um, and then I'm probably going to bling it out on the sides with crystals when I get home. And then these pieces are kind of thin because, like I said, I didn't do a lot of layers. So, um, which is cool because they won't be so heavy as pendants. So this one's really cute. I like it. And I love these pieces, these molds, because I don't have to shine. I don't have to glaze any of these pieces here. So I really like that. And I have this one. I should have did blue in the background instead of the pink, because I didn't realize the dolphin was pink. And so I popped it out. Look, but it's still cute. And then I got this little one. Kind of move the sticker kind of moved a little bit um, probably add a few crystals to this one or something when I get home too this one's just plain Jane but I kind of like it I think it's cute probably put a little bow right here a little blue bow that'd be cute or a red bow and then I got this piece which I think turned out really cute Lovely. These are some stickers I brought with me from my last San Rio haul. I brought some up here to Texas with me because I got duplicates of everything. So I brought a bunch with me to use up here. So I got this little twin star. This has to be blinged out some down here to probably add some stars on top or a couple of bows down here with some crystals or something. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'll figure it out. And then I got this little piece here. I really like that one too. That one's cute. And I'm probably going to bling that out along the sides with some pink crystals. And then I got um, twin stars again with little pink hearts pink glitter and pink background and then this little hello kitty with rainbow type not really a rainbow it's just four different colors in the background striped like at an angle and then this one's just plain jane with some bling and some some glitter bling in the background and then purple layer behind it and then I'm probably going to add crystals to this as well and then I got this dude which I don't know how to pronounce his name but he's so cute he's kind of simple but I like it it's cute and then here's the tuxedo Sam one which turned out really nice this sticker kind of turned that way a little bit like it kind of went whoop, just a little bit <laughs> But it's still cute. I had a lot of stickers move on me. And they're all Tuxedo Sam's actually. Except for one Hello Kitty shifted too. This Tuxedo Sam, of course, it shifted. So now it's like off. So that's a fail. Because that really needed to be straight. Even if they had shifted over, it went cockeyed too. So it's cockeyed and shifted. It's all messed up. Then there's this little Mamagoma piece, which is really kind of hard to see what the dude is doing there, but it's cute. I like it. And then there's this little, um, my Melody and his little lamb friend. Forget what somebody told me his name was. I forget. She's so cute though. Lammy or something. I don't remember. Um, but I like that piece. I like those stickers. I like the outline stickers like that. It's cute. And then there's this little Hello Kitty, which is very cute as well, with her little polka dotted shoes on. She's gorgeous. And then there's this. This is a jewel pet thing I cut out and just stuck in there. It was not a sticker. 
I should have really trimmed it better than that. That piece sucks. Lazy. Then there's this crummy sticker. I really like it. It's cute. That little piece of cellophane right there should not have fallen in there, but it did. Oh well. What you gonna do? Then there's this bats maroon one. He's alright, not my favorite. Then there's this my melody one with the little mouse. This one turned out cute. I like it. I really like this one. Even though I should have did a blue background on it. I forget. When I do so many at a time, sometimes I forget what colors are in the sticker. I thought it was a blue sailboat. It was a pink sailboat. So, um, but it still looks really cute because the blue sprinkled behind it. I think it goes nicely. I wish I would have did blue though. And then there's this dude, which probably would have been better with pink behind him. With you know, but hey, it still looks really cute. I'm gonna bling this out some too. I really like that. I like how he's squishing that dude like a pucker, like a kiss. And then there's this Karami, which I really like. This is one of my favorites. I just think it turned out really cute. Really cute. Then there's this jewel pet, which has just got a lot of shit going on in it. I've been cussing a lot tonight, y'all. I'm sorry. I made another video earlier. I just cussed up a storm in. Sorry about that to whoever I offend with that. Not my intentions, but I cuss. That's just who I am. It's starting to come out in my videos now, I guess, because I've done so many videos. I'm like not trying to be all prim and proper anymore. So, um, this one's got a little bit of everything. It's got the cellophane glitter, different colors, and the hearts, and oh, you name it, it's in there. And it's got the pink background. A little bit of everything. Then there's this one, which um, it says, time to scare up another spell. And it has a crossbones, skull and crossbones. I really like that one too. Then there's this Kuropi one, which I really like because I know he's not doing that, but he really looks like he's passing gas in this because he's pushing and then he's got these little things out right here. It looks like he just broke wind. That's what it looks like to me. That's why I like it. So I think it looks really cute. I like it. So there's that one. And then there's a Mamagoma one here. It's got a little bit of area sprinkles and cellophane glitter and oh pink background a hot pink background that's from that pigment that I get from Val um, what's her cute Val my cute creations or something like that I, I don't quite remember if that's I think that's what her store name is um Valerie if you want to know let me know and I'll, I'll make sure I link it in there so you can know who to get the cool pigments because it's not even showing on camera how bright it is. It is a bright, hot pink pigment. And you don't even have to use a lot to get that bright of a color. It's, it's pretty bright. And you can also add white in with it to make a light baby pink. Because this is a... The camera's showing it as a light pink, but trust me when I tell you it's, a, it's electric hot pink. And then um, I got this one that just says Mamagoma. Uh, Mamagoma Supermarket underneath. So that's what that says. And I didn't do a rainbow sprinkle behind it because the sticker's rainbow. So I just kind of did multicolor glitter flakes behind it. And I think it turned out pretty cute. And it has a, a light blue. This is a dark blue pigment like the electric pink. The electric blue but I added white powder pigment to it and it made it a baby blue. And then this is another jewel pet piece that has, um, it's a glitter sticker, but then I did all the cellophane glitter in the background, different colors, and then the little heart confetti sprinkles. And then this is a Bats Maru sticker, which I think turned out really cute. Turned out nice. It has a pink background, and like I said, I forget what colors are in there sometimes and um i poured pink in that one so but i mean i think it kind of makes that orange pop it's like a peachy color and a yellow glitter mix i put in there 
and that pink kind of it looks like really crappy from the side because you see the pink but I think from the front it really helped that orange to pop if my camera will focus right on it there we go then it lost focus again it is not focusing people I've been having a lot of issues with this camera lately I guess it's time for me to get another one I don't understand why it was doing so great at first anyway there's that stupid piece and then uh, I'm so impatient and I am sorry y'all then there's this one which I probably won't be able to focus on it's that little lamb from my melody resting she's laying with her little hands underneath her chin and she's got ice cream and a mixed drink she's chilling she's chilling and then there's this little one with um my melody and a raft with a little mouse on top of him he's got a swim cap on too so cute i should have put him in water but like i said i don't remember what stickers i put in there or after i put him in there and Sometimes I stick a little tag on them on the sides with what, like a Karopi green, blue, and red, or jewel pet glitter rainbow, or I, still, I put little like labels like you would put on, like if you had a yard sale and you put pricing little stickers. I do that on my sides of my silicone. I gotta put it right here and put you know, Karopi, navy blue and red, red, white, and blue or you know mamagoma pastels that way i remember what i put in there but i don't have a lot of stuff here with me so and to be honest with you a lot of times i'm just too lazy so it doesn't get done but that's what i normally do and that's it y'all that's what i have to show and those pieces over there that i have to pop out yet still are um sesame street pieces and i'm anxious to see how those are going to turn out they're going to be thick though because I had to do so many layers with the um, sprinkles I used. But um, I think they'll be keychains because they're kind of chunky. Or paperweights, whatever. And then this one um, probably be a wall tile. I'll figure it out. Those two want to pop out. I have more work to do. I have to flip them. And there's an insert inside that I want to put something in and then glaze over with resin again. So I still got work to do on those. And then everything else has not popped out or is being domed at the moment this one right here i'm going to add some 3d the that layer is still tacky i don't know how i was able to pop it out the middle layer first layer is done the middle layer is tacky and the third layer is done weird huh but um i'm going to put some 3d stuff up here butterflies or something We'll figure it out. And then this is the jewelry box I had made at home. This is a new mold I did. An owl. Trinket box. And as we were driving up here, my husband set something on the bag. And it wasn't 100% cured yet. Because it hadn't set up. But maybe 6-7 hours so. And he set something on the bag it was in. And it dented it. So now it's cured and I'm screwed. I can't pop it back. So. It's not horrible though. I mean, the lid still sits on there. It just doesn't sit as it should because it's not the way it should be. It has a bulge in it. But anyway, this isn't for me anyway. So I'm going to, um, I just did them in brown glitters, different color browns and yellows and stuff because I'm going to glue feathers to him and then paint some white on them and, um, make them look like a real little owl with feathers and stuff then I have these cute beetle things I don't know where I put them they're in the closet somewhere but they're the actual wings of the beetles and it's the green iridescent ones and they're really hard and I'm gonna make another one and I'm gonna glue those to the wings and make him have the I'd have to show them if y'all don't understand what I'm saying this is the um one of the bug pieces I just made recently and I ended up keeping for myself because I really liked it. So I hung it on this chain and um, I put some bling around it, some mesh that I had. I cut one little strip off and uh, glued it around it. If I can get it to focus, 
Wow. I don't know what's going on with this camera. It is not wanting to focus. There we go. So I glued the mesh around there and then I individually put these little gel rhinestone things in there. And the rhinestone things are a, um, I don't know if it's showing the true colors, it's a greenish blue, like an aquamarine color, aquamarine color. So it's a greenish blue. And, um, because if you look, it's really bright blue here, but it's legs and stuff are like a greenish blue, and that's the color of the stones I put in there. So, um, and then the back is just white. And, um, that's my piece I wear right now. So, I just really liked it. And then I have another little tiny one with a teardrop shape with a little bug in it that has the glow in the dark powder behind it and in the day it just looks like a sparkly background but at night it glows like a green color no a blue color like a lavender blue um and i had kept that piece for myself as well so the other ones that i had just finished i have to list on my store when i get back home from out of town i, I just got finished a whole bunch of new bug pieces that are really nice and I started some more before I left the house. So I, when I get back, I have to finish those. I did some with butterfly wings in them. They're really pretty. All right. Well, that's it, y'all. I will upload this video when I get to the hotel this weekend. Because I can't upload it from this apartment. All right. Bye.